the key challenge is that our cities are growing. By 2050, two thirds of the world population will live in cities. That's about six billion people that need to be provided with sufficient and clean energy, water and food. The establishment of decentralized and distributed networks is a real key aspect to tackle this challenge. Building envelope plays a key role and the development of the bioreactor facade provides exactly a solution. The core element of the bioenergy facade system are so-called photobioreactors. They contain a nutrient fluid, which is the habitat for microalgae. Daylight and added carbon dioxide allow the algae to grow. Heat from the sun is retained in the reactors, which serve as a heat source for the operation of the building. In addition, microalgae, a high quality biomass, can be harvested and made available for the food and pharma industry. An operator model ensures the automated operation of the system, as well as harvesting and the distribution of the algae. The bioenergy facade offers a flexible system. Three different facade elements will open up Firstly, a transparent frame which ensures undisturbed viewing. Secondly, an opaque solution in which the algae serve as design elements in the outer facade. Thirdly, a translucent version which allows the green coloring of the algae to be experienced in the interior. There are three major benefits uh, for the owner of the bioreactor facade. First, the system contributes to the heating supply of the building and is a carbon-free heating source. Second, of course, there's the algae as biomass, which can be harvested and can be sold to the food and cosmetic industry. Um, and there's also an operator model possible, which um, supports the owner uh, with the operation of the system. And of course, the third benefit is that the owner can demonstrate a sustainable building design in an urban context.